The governor of Illinois, Pat Quinn, is on a high-profile visit to China, and he's been taking in Beijing, Shanghai, and Hong Kong. Governor, welcome. Thank and you. let's first of all start with looking at the mission that you've undertaken. What is that mission? Well, part of it is trade and goodwill. We want to make sure that our friends in China know that uh, Illinois is alive and well. It's in the center of the United States. And uh, we do a lot of trade with China, $3.1 billion last year. This year it's even growing more. Uh, we hope to get about $4 billion. We have very powerful agriculture in our state and we have, uh, I think, 25% of our soybean crop we sell to China. So we like to know our customers and we want them to know us. You're here in Hong Kong. Where does Hong Kong fit into the picture so far as your mission is concerned? I see Hong Kong as the gateway to China. Uh, it's very, very important that we learn from people in Hong Kong. They've been doing business in China for a long, long time. and. This is my very first visit to China, and it's important, I think, we talk to the experts, folks who know firsthand. Uh, this morning we had a very good meeting with the American Chamber of Commerce here in Hong Kong, and uh, I take a lot of notes. Uh, you learn by listening. Really looking at investment from the United States to China, it has been choppy. Some companies have been particularly successful. Illinois has been in particularly competitive areas like telecoms and agriculture, and I believe you've been doing deals in China on that. But where do you see this looking forward? Well, ADM is one of our major companies. We have Cargill and Bungie, and uh, whether it's soybeans or corn, we're always going to be strong. And the Chinese market is growing for us. We want to grow with it. But we also have companies like Caterpillar and John Deere, Motorola, McDonald's, uh, Abbott and uh, Baxter. These are major brands known all over the world. But we also want to help our smaller companies, medium and small companies that may not be known at all. They may be learning how to export for the very first time, and we want to connect uh, to our Chinese. Friends. You talk of small and medium-sized companies, and of course Hong Kong has many of those, including from the Chinese mainland. So how do you see using Hong Kong from that point of view? Well, we learned uh, very much that, you know, it's important for some companies, uh, they've, they're here in Hong Kong for us to learn them and work with them before we even get to the mainland. So we don't want to leave any stone unturned. You know, we have a, a great university in Illinois, a number of them. We have the University of Chicago and Northwestern. One of our universities is the University of Illinois, our public university. 50,000 graduates, alumni of U of I, it's called University of Illinois, in Hong Kong and China. And we want to use that network of folks here in Hong Kong as well as across the, the water to uh, connect to people, learn about business, and uh, learn about how to uh, do things right. Now, I understand the other part of your mission is foreign direct investment to Illinois from the Chinese mainland. Does Hong Kong look as if it's going to be a particularly important bridge in that development? Uh, this morning I spent a lot of time at our breakfast talking about exactly that subject. We want to get a lot of investment from China, from Hong Kong, uh, to Illinois, uh, a state that's in the middle of our country with the best transportation around. We're the really the inland port of America, and we're interested in things like sustainability, energy efficiency, renewable energy, water conservation, all these things uh, we can get investment from. Uh, there's a company, Wan uh, Chang, in, in, located in China that is in Rockford, Illinois, doing solar collectors. I announced the other day we signed a contract with Goldwind, which is going to be doing 66 wind turbines, a wind farm in Illinois, in the very home county of President Ronald Reagan, where he grew up. So there's the sky's the limit. We only have 30 companies so far from China, Hong Kong that are investing in Illinois. We can do much, much more. Hong Kong is a partner with the federal government in the United States for what we call the Pacific Bridge Initiative. In other words, looking at trade and trying to balance out that trade between the United States and Asia. Is that really a success story or not, perhaps? There's uh, opportunities there. I think it's at the beginning, and the longest journey begins at the first step. Uh, I think this is important. The trade can be good for every country if we do it right. Uh, part of it is working with our educational institutions and our civic and cultural institutions so that people get to know each other as well as possible. Uh, we obviously need investment in America and Illinois and important things. That's foreign direct investment for us. But the trade that we, the exports that we have from Illinois to China are very robust and they can be even more so. And we, you know, our consumers uh, buy a lot of goods and services from China as well. Governor, of particular interest to small and medium-sized companies in Hong Kong is the state of the world economy, but particularly of the United States economy. How do you see that actually looking forwards? 
Well, I believe in President Barack Obama. You know, it's a tough time uh, worldwide, really. We, we can't lose hope. We can't lose faith. Uh, you know, the great thing about our country and definitely our state of Illinois is we believe in everyday people. They're the power of our country and the power of our state. They work hard. They band together in tough times. They don't uh, say, woe is me, and uh, become naysayers. Uh, our economy in Illinois is the two-thirds of a trillion dollars. Yeah, when we hit bumps in the road, we just roll up our sleeves and work harder. We pound the pavement harder. That's why I'm here. One way to grow jobs in Illinois is exports from our state to the world economy.